on YouTube finally back to do another video I'm out here playing around at Sand Hollow and thought I'd stop and give you a little review of the uh, Dirt Warrior accessories windshield that I've got in this thing show you it here I put this in when I got the machine brand new it was one of the first accessories I've added to it uh, my last x3 I had the full plexiglass windshield I had the half windshield plexiglass and they were nice but you get some dust and you try to clean them no matter how hard you try to clean them they end up getting scratched and then you can't see out of them so I love this one I can wash it it stays clean it doesn't get scratched it's great quality um, I really like the vents here that open and close they let quite a bit of air through you'd be surprised how much airflow can come through those when you open them i kind of like that better than the, the vents that slide back and forth just my personal opinion but to each their own but yeah dirt warriors the one thing i did have to do it wasn't super compatible with malone star racing roof um i did have to take and trim it down you can't see it very good but up here i had to trim it a little bit the way it came up um it would hit the roof so i trimmed that down maybe a half inch was it with the grinder and other than that she fit perfect and all it took to mount it was uh clamps down here this clamp mounts onto that bolt i utilize that bolt to mount my light on as well but one clamp there one clamp over there and then it had had clamps up here you can see where the hole is right there and it had a clamp on each side i took those off um, when i mounted my my roof where the roof bolts on came with a little tab that bolts on i don't know if you can see it right up there so i just bolted the roof through the windshield and onto the tab and that holds the windshield and the roof in place and my light bar same thing goes through the roof goes through the windshield and it holds it nice and firm doesn't go anywhere so pretty clean setup but we like it a lot um, I can sit in here and drive all day long in the dust I can drive in the wind um, the sand and I can drive without my glasses on I can drive without goggles on I no dust or really wind gets in your eyes it's a pretty good setup I, i've quite enjoyed it and then when it's hot you open the vents it's not bad i mean you're riding in the heat you're gonna get hot anyways you're outside but and then after that i added this back windshield it's glass too by dirt warriors it fits really good it's contoured around it has a clamp in the center it has a clamp on each side and what this does, it stops all this dust. I've washed it so you can't tell, but the back of this windshield gets coated in dust. The inside stays clean. So that right there, it's keeping so much more dust out of the cab. The, how could you go wrong? The more dust you can keep out of your cab, the better off you are. But we're out here going for a ride. Quite a few people out here. The sand's a little wet. There is tracks everywhere. There's people been out here all weekend long. It's uh, oh, 60 degrees just after four o'clock. Perfect day for a ride. Who wouldn't want to do this? But that's my review on the Dirt Warrior windshield. Um, if you have any questions, hit me up in the comments. Let me know what you think. I can give you more feedback on it if you're interested they're a local company here where i'm at in st george utah so i shop local and support local as much as i can but any other questions leave me a comment if you don't mind hit the like button subscribe see if we can get this channel built up a little bit that'd be awesome but we're gonna get back to riding you guys have a nice afternoon
and we just came across the Hobbit house. We'll give you a roundabout tour of it. Had a little piece collapse. Oh, there we are. Hi. <laughs> Kind of a cool little rock formation. That's the Hobbit House. We're just out here on the kind of the edge of the world trail. We're going to continue on.